What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we are going to be talking about the new cards that came out today. The Pantheon USA set. The Pantheon USA. So we have got seven, eight, nine, we got nine Opals. We have got one, two, three. Oh my God, they're guaranteed Opal or higher packs. These are gonna have guaranteed odds. They're, these are going to be guaranteed opal or higher packs. These are these packs are going to be like these are going to be nuts. Like even if you like you pretty much have um you can pretty much discard like you can discard these cards and still make quite a bit. Hundreds of properties in London. What's up with this advertising? I don't. I live in Dublin. But uh. Christian Leitner, 48 Hall of Fame by to 17 gold. 6'11, 71 wingspan, 235 pounds. Pro 2, Pro 3. Ugh, set shot 3. You know what? That's actually not the worst release in the world. Set shot 3 is not. It's a set shot, but it's not the worst release in the world. 95 3 ball, 90 speed, 90 acceleration, 90 lateral, 85 driving dunk. Most of the defensive badges, half range extender. I mean, he's not the. Uh, He's not the greatest card in the world. He's he's okay, but again, like it's Leitner. It's Christian Leitner. Like there's no uh We're unlikely to get a great Leitner. And at the end of the day, we can't complain about getting a card for a Dream Team player that we did not previously have, so. I kind of like the card art. I'm not the biggest fan of Carter. I kind of like it though. The good thing is that these dark, these opals are all going to be like six or seven k. So Clyde might be the best damn card in the game on next gen. Then we had John Stockton. Roll, we're rolling back to the September squads. I like the fact that they all have the USA jerseys though. That's a big thing. A six one six four wingspan, forty five hoffs, ninety seven three ball, ninety eight speed, ninety acceleration. 90 driving dunk, 99 lateral, 99 speed. Flexible range extender. Couple of badges. All the playmaking ones. Okay, Stockton can finally curry slide. Stockton can finally curry slide. And... Yeah, I mean, he's gonna suck. Just a heads up, he's, he's gonna suck. But he, he's Stockton, I guess. And yeah, who? This is a very nice card. Card drop. This is a really nice backdrop. Like he's he's gonna he's not gonna be very good. That is very true. Actually, you cannot use any of these guys in any challenges with team requirements. That is an interesting point. That is a very interesting point. Actually, someone made. But it, that doesn't really matter at the end of the day. I like the KD card. That is cool. That is cool. But Chris Mullen. 6'7", six, 6'10", six, wingspan. He's a chicken man. Base 22, pro 2, pro 3, shifty. I mean, he's got pretty much perfect stats. Any key badge he doesn't have? Not really. Not really. Um, but he is a very, very nice card. Um... And I will say it, he's definitely one of the better car. He's one of the better Opals in the game. He is definitely one of the better Galaxy Opals in this game right now. Clyde Jackson, this is the card I'm most looking forward to. He's one I'm not going to be able to afford most of these top tier guys. And the thing is, is that I really, really want Clyde because he's got, he's chicken man. He base, he's a base five. Half range, 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 let's go. Clyde gets insane dunking animations. He gets insane dunking animations. 92 3 ball, 97 speed, 97 acceleration, 96 lateral. Heck, this may as well be Invincible Clyde. I couldn't care less. But he's got base 5! My favorite release in the game. I'm very quick. Pro 3, Pro 2. Clyde Drexler. If you are on next gen, Clyde is going to be insanely good. He's going to be insanely, insanely good. And we have Tyson Chandler. What, what did they do with his 3 ball? 76 3 ball. Pro 6, Pro 1. Oh, I wish 
He's he was now it wasn't even gonna be grave. They might as well have just given him pro two. Base eighteen kind of sucks. Yeah, Chandler kind of sucks, but he's Tyson Chandler. At the end of the day, he kind of sucks in game, but if you're a Tyson Chandler fan or you want to use Tyson Chandler, he's actually not terrible. He is actually not terrible. I might need to do like a new dream team squad builder. I might as well just make a team USA squad builder. But um, Andre Iguodala. I mean, fade of the universe on the line. And I need one shot to win a game out of all of these cards. Fade of the universe on the line. I want Iguodala. Six foot six with six eleven wingspan, ninety six speed, ninety six acceleration, ninety four three ball, ninety eight driving, ninety nine lateral, no blinders, all the key defensive badges, um, post spin, dream shake, bailout, Andre Iguodala, or base. I'm very quick. Pro two, pro three. He's not gonna be bad. He's gonna be as good as any Iguodala's ever been. But he's not going to be spectacular. That's the one thing. He will be as good as any Iguodala has ever been in my team. That's all I can say. He'll be as good as... He'll be pretty much as good as any of the Iggy's we've seen. Then we've got Kevin Love. It's mad. Revision is history. Literally. Like, obviously, he he should, probably shouldn't have made this current Olympic team. I, I reckon he just made it for chemistry reasons and because he'll probably sit on the bench and stay quiet. Um. But... The fact is, is that I've seen a load of Twitter posts saying that he didn't deserve to make this team. Kevin Love in 2012 did not deserve to make Team USA. Man, people... People have gone... I don't understand what type of revisionist history there is. People saying he didn't deserve to make this team. Kevin Love was one of the best bigs in the NBA at that stage. It's the reason why LeBron traded, wanted to trade everything for him. Um, Showtime Hall of Fame. Range Extender Hall of Fame. He's actually got really good defensive badges. 87 ladder was alright. 90 speed's alright. Does 243 pounds? Was he 243? Lads, he can pro he's gonna pro two with Kevin Love release. He's actually not gonna be bad. He's actually not going to be bad at all. I'm actually I actually think his Kevin Love card's gonna be fine. He's not gonna be the greatest card in the game by any means. He's going to be a bang average power forward, but like I, I think he'll be alright. I think he will be all right. Wait, why the hell is he 98 speed of ball? And 90 speed. All right. He's going to be 5k. For everyone saying these guys are going to be 2k MT. Lads, they discard a 5... Opal's discard a 5k, just a heads up. Um, Galaxy Opal's discard a 5k. Dark Matter's discard a 6k, so they won't be any cheaper than that. Okay, then we have got Anthony Davis. 44 halves, 92-3, 92 speed, 92 acceleration. Only gold showtime. All the defense badges. Let's compare the ADs. Let's compare the ADs. Let's compare them to Pantheon or the fan favorites. Okay, stats-wise, he's basically the same. Badge-wise, he's got five less, and one of them is showtime. So that does make a big difference if you are on current gen. And let's compare Anthony Davis to the Gladiator one. Davis to the Gladiator. 13 extra halves and basically the same stats, but he does have 13 extra half badges. One of them being flexible, which does help. So he's he'll be in between. He'll be better than the Gladiator. He'll be a he'll be he's basically the same as the other one, but he'll be a little better than the Gladiator anyway. He'll be a little bit better than the Gladiator. Okay. Then we have got Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook, 44 halves, 15 golds. Is this more halves than this, Westbrook? No, it's only two less. Do you have blinders? No. Okay, so if you're on current gen, this Westbrook's better than this Westbrook. If you're on next gen, it's not as good. It's basically this Westbrook without blinders. Yeah, I think they're the same card. I think they are basically the exact same card. Uh, yeah. uh, you know what? The Dark Matter Westbrook's a little bit better. But on current gen, I will say it. I will say it. On current gen, the Opal Westbrook's going to be better because of no blinders. Or no steady. 
So that is pretty much it. But Westbrook, I mean, Westbrook's not great, is he? He's really not great. So for these cards right here, I mean, Clyde's the best, and it's not even close. Then probably like Iguodala. Okay. Patrick Ewing. Okay, he's still got that cruise jumper, but now he can curry. Oh dear lord, he can curry. Okay. He's interesting now. This is an invincible card. I don't care what anyone says. This is an invincible card. You give 99 stats and everything, it doesn't make a difference. This is an invincible Patrick Ewing. He's a fake invincible. Oh dear lord. Oh dear lord, lads. Oh dear lord, curry sliding. Curry sliding Ewing is gonna be a cheese ball. Curry sliding Ewing is gonna be a cheese ball. Handles for days, I mean, handles for days isn't that expensive, is it? But he is an absolute cheese ball. My GOAT. The base 38 GOAT from back in the day. He was my point guard for so long on next gen, Darren Williams. With his half blinders and base 38. But he's got Pro 2, Pro 3, base 38. Um, blinders, Hall of... No! 2K! No! You took his blinders! You took his blinders! Why? Oh, why, 2K? Why did you take his blinders? Why? Why did you take his blinders? Nobody in this set so far has blinders. It's not like anyone on current gen is ever going to use him anyway. He might have been a little bit useful on next gen, but now he's garbage on both gens. Why did you take... You've taken his blinders and you took away Westbrook's blinders. You took away both their blinders. Why? Why, 2K? Why? Harden. You took away his blinders as well, didn't you? You took his blinders! Why are you taking the blind their blinders off? Why are you taking their blinders off? He's ass on current gen anyway! Blinders no steady, no steady, he sucks on current gen. Oh dear lord, 96 lateral, 95 driving dunk. 98 three ball. Harden on quick. Pro two, pro three. He's basically this card here, but they took his blinders. They took his blinders. They've taken away blinders from three players. From th whatever, but Harden. Harden might be somewhat usable on current gen. Harden might actually be somewhat usable on current gen. So it's not. it kind of makes sense for this one. But they took away Westbrook. And they took away Darren Williams' blinders. Those guys are only useful on next gen. Like Westbrook and Darren Williams are only useful on next gen, and they took away the one badge that makes them useful. So they're just wor they're just worthless guards right now. So CP3. Oh, now you're gonna give this garbage man blinders. You're gonna give the garbage man blinders. You're gonna give the garbage man blinders. Is that what you're doing, 2K? You're giving the garbage man blinders? I'm pretty sure CP... That's not his nickname. I'm pretty sure his nickname is CP3. And I'm pretty sure that these two letters do do tend to be... refer Stand for something else. It's a bit of a bit of an iffy nickname. I will have to say that. Um, He's Chris Paul. He's going to suck. It doesn't matter what... Uh, what stats they give him, he's going to suck. He's going to absolutely suck in game. Yeah, he's going to be he's going to be the first sub 20k dark matter. I'm going to say that right now. He's going to be the first unless there has already been one that I don't know of. He's going to be a under 20k dark matter. That's all I'm going to say. Um Okay, and we've got Carl Malone. Actually no, Jeremy Lim is already under 20k. No, he's going to be 15k then. He might be the first sub 10k dark matter. Chris Paul might be the first under 10k dark matter. Carl Malone, the mailman. Uh, hidden invincible. He's an invincible. Every defensive badge. Handles for days, every key badge. He's an invincible card. Carl Malone, base. I'm very quick. Pro 1, Pro 2. 
he can curry on next gen, can't curry on current gen. He's gonna be absolutely insane. He's gonna be absolutely insanely good, lads. Again, why why is his team 2012 Team USA? Are they all 2012 Team USA? Yeah. All right, fair enough. Um, but he's not bad. Like he's not bad. Like on oh my not bad, he's absolutely exceptional. Like on a on a scale of one to ten, I mean he's a 13 out of 10. Like he is, he's absolutely class, lads. But um, you use him, use him if you want. Don't use him if you want, if you don't want to. But he's great in game. Like I will, I do have to say it right now. Like I gotta be objective with this, and he is unreal in game. He is unreal in game. Okay, so then we have got Kevin Durant. This is card arts insane. His card arts insane. Fifty four half, small forward, power forward. Ninety eight three ball, ninety six speed, ninety six acceleration, ninety seven lateral. He's the invincible. Simply put, he is uh, the Invincible. Kevin Durant on very quick Pro 2, Pro 3. He is the exact same as the Invincible card. Like, he's not going to make any difference to the Invincible Kevin Durant. So, obviously, we have got 181 total stats, but it's not going to make a difference, I'm telling you. Any key badge changes? Not that I can see, they're the same card. They are the exact same card. So Kevin Durant is the invincible. He is absolutely insane. He's absolutely insane, lads. Okay, so then we got Magic Johnson. We have got Magic Johnson. 6'9 with a 7 foot wingspan. And 97 speed, 96. He's the invincible as well. I mean, he's the enshrined. He's like between the Enshrined and the Invincible. The Enshrined, Magic, the Invincible, Magic, and this Magic are all going to play the exact same. Just a heads up. They're, you're not going to notice the difference. With Just like Anthony Davis with these three cards, you are not going to notice the difference at all. You are not going to notice the difference at all, lads. So Magic Johnson, um, these three Magic Johnsons are all going to play the exact same. Except the difference is, is that this Magic can actually play the two instead of the point guard center Magic. But, um... They're all going to be the same. They're all exceptional, but they're all going to play the exact same. So then we got Michael Jordan. 99 off his 9 in defense over a 6 6, six 11 wingspan. He cannot play point guard. And he's another one that's going to play the exact same as the Invincible. He's going to be the exact same as the Invincible, which is a really, really good card. Which is actually really, really good. Um, so the thing is with... Uh, with this card is again he's going to be absolutely fantastic and if you do run the if you do want to use a dark matter michael jordan this is so much better than this jordan here he's so much better than this michael jordan and he's basically the invincible and he's gonna be cheaper so that is not bad at all. and there's no lock-in for this set which means there's not gonna be any gatekeepers so i reckon maybe like 250k is probably the most any of these guys are gonna go for outside of the invincibles but they're all essentially invincibles. Like again, you're not gonna notice the difference between this card and the invincible Kobe. But I will still say the best value, the best value for money Kobe is this Kobe Bryant right here, the gladiator one. But it's mad. In the lot, we have got three dark matter Kobe's. Three dark matter Kobe's now on three dark matter LeBrons. And we also have four dark matter Michael Jordans. We have more 99 overall Michael Jordans than we have had Rafe LaFrance cards since 2K18. Since 2K18, every year, they give Rafe LaFrance some god-tier budget card at the very start of the year, and then they will not give him a card the rest of the year. In four years, we have had less Rafe LaFrance cards than we have Dark Matter LeBrons. Oh, no, we have four Dark Matter LeBrons. Yeah, four Dark Matter LeBrons. In the last six weeks, we've gotten four Dark Matter LeBrons. Or the last seven weeks. But yeah, then we got Dark Matter LeBron. Um, Exum, Le Exum Braun. Okay. 97 speed. This is better than the Invincible LeBron. He plays the two. Exum Braun who plays the two. He's heavy though. He's heavy for current gen. Who cares? He's better than the Invincible LeBron. He can curry on next. He can curry on next. Exum Braun plays the two. Wow. 
But oh, he's better than the Invincible Braun. He's better. Oh my god. If you guys don't know, don't see this picture. Open image, a new tab. If anyone who has ever played basketball at the international level knows that this is the worst basketball ever made. The GL7. The new GL7 X basketballs are good enough, but they are so bad that no countries use them. Like, if you're playing in your local league, no one would ever use the GL basketball. But for some reason, it's the international ball of choice. It is the worst basketball ever. The only time teams ever... Like, I remember in, uh, in Ireland training, everyone, like... We all use the international basketballs for training. And we're all like, these are terrible. These are terrible. These are... The GL... No, GGs are fine. GG7X, GGs are fine. The GL7. Oh, that was the worst basketball ever. You can't even catch the ball. You, can, you can't even catch a GL7. The new GL7X ones aren't quite as bad. And you can't even catch a GL7. Then we've got Larry Bird. Larry Bird, obviously invincible. We know 99, every single stat. They took his blinders as well. Is this just take blinders? Is just take blinders? Is this just take blinders away from everyone? Is this just a take blinders away from everyone set? Pro 2, Pro 3. Um, Yeah, he's still going to have everything. And he's going to be Larry, but... I mean, he's great. Anyone who says LeBron can't curry on either gen doesn't know how curry sliding works on next gen. He's 6'9". Anyone who's 6'9 can curry on next gen. Um, yeah, Larry's going to be very good. Can curry on both gens. He's, he's going to be really good. And without Steady, he actually was better on current gen. Scotty Pippen. Invincible. Half range extender. Does not get good defensive animations. I will say that. He does not get good defensive animations. Um, base. Oh, he's going to suck. He's, well, he's going to be bang average. He's going to be bang average card. There are of 100. Like, he he's maybe scrapes into the top 100 cards when I make that list next month. He maybe scrapes into that list. Honestly, he maybe scrapes in. Then we're going to go Mellow. Carmelo Anthony. Carmelo on very quick. You know what? I don't mind Mellow on very quick. The problem is he just can't shoot from the corners on current gen. Uh, pro 2, Pro 3. Half show time. Is he a quick dribble style? He's actually going to be really solid next gen. He's going to be really solid next gen. If you're on current gen, he's going to suck. But he's actually very, very solid next gen. So, um, that is one card. Definitely, it's pretty good. Someone just said some the same card art as this pink diamond. He's wearing... These guys are wearing USA jerseys. They don't have the same card art. This guy's probably the best guy in the set. Outside of LeBron. Yeah. He's like better Wiseman. He's better James Wiseman. He is better James Wiseman. That's all I'm going to say. He's fantastic. He's fantastic. He's going to be pro too. He's better than Reem on current gen. He's going to... He's probably better than Kareem. So yeah, on next gen, he's better than Kareem. He's way better than Kareem on next gen. Like he, he might be the best... He's probably the best center in the game on next gen. With, with how good D-Rob release is... With these stats, with the fact that he's got Pro 2 and Pro 3. Like, it's he's probably the best end in the game on next gen, honestly. He's probably the best end in the game on next gen. He's insane. So, yeah. That is pretty much it. I'm going to say X and Braun at the 2 is probably... In terms of ranking cards, it's probably D-Rob. D-Rob and X and Braun 2 are probably 1A, 1B in this set. Um, Jordan, if you can't afford the Invincible, is a great alternative. Same with Kevin Durant. Um... Carmelo is pretty good. Magic Johnson's basically the same as the Enshrined. And if anything, he's just going to push down the price of the Enshrined. This is basically Enshrined set number two. James Harden, if you're on current gen, is actually better than the Invincible. Darren Williams is actually half decent. Patrick Ewing's going to be a cheese ball on next gen. Not going to be good on current gen. Um, Tack or Kevin Love's pretty decent. Anthony Davis is basically the same as the Gladiator card. Westbrook is going to be... Like, again, these guys are all going to be... They discard for 5k. These guys are all going to be less than 10k. The only one of the Opals that I think is going to be exceptional is Next Gen Clyde Drexler. So anyway, yeah, that is pretty much it, lads. That is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.